Hello everyone, welcome to our presentation today, and our chosen friend is Susan Grip. Here are our team with Duk, Mi, Ting An, and Bao Zheng. So, let's take a look at our presentation agenda today. First one, we will introduce about the brand and the product background, then analyze the target ions and their insight. From that point, we will talk about the creative concept and how we deliver that concept through creative technique and approach. Lastly, we will showcase our final product. So, let's move to the background information first. Uh, established in 1935, the Tyson Grip is an Australian brand of a strong adhesive promoted itself as a universal fixer. It was named after the character in the classic movie who has become an impressive and recognizable figure to the product with a special formula allow it to adhere to a wide variety of surfaces and material. The Tyson Grip appeal for its properties of multi purposes, fast setting, and the colorlessness. Its sales volume was at its peak between the mid late 19th century, with 1.5 million packs being sold every year. And lastly, the price of the product is approximately about 46,000 Vietnam dong for each pack. We, still, we also figure the market insights that due to the outbreak of the COVID 19 pandemic, the consumer only purchased the product that is necessary for their daily life, such as food, drink, or the tissues itself. Therefore, uh, it is difficult in driving consumers' attention and gain their favor toward the product launch, as it is not like necessary in the uh, pandemic context. And besides, when we mentioned about the super glue, the Vietnamese is very popular with 502 super glue with a long standing history and well known with its affordable price and high quality. Therefore, the brand should remove its competitive. Each over 502 super glue to gain the top of my awareness of the consumer. From this point, we we claim that the brand is still is as a newcomer in the Vietnamese market. The the brand is still ambitious in the consumer mind, and leading to the demand of launching the product to increase customer awareness and position to the brand in the market is very necessary. Therefore, the goal of the ads is to gain customer recognition towards the brand product as well as building the distinctive and half brand image in their mind. And now, let's move to the target audience analysis presented by Chu. Thank you, Khanh Huy, for your market analysis. Moving on the target audience and insight for this advertising campaign, we are target Vietnamese middle-class household uh, live in urban such as Ho Chi Minh, Hanoi, or Da Nang because this class dominates the consumer segment and spending in Vietnam. Specifically, we focus on full-time worker female aged from 28 to 35 as they tend to be the main shopper in the household. They have great influence as they are the main decision maker in the family, having control over the family spending. With modern mind and scientific lifestyle, they, reap, they are willing to pay a higher price for products that have their life more convenient. Additionally, they prefer brand experience and personalization of the product but tend to be skeptical in brand advertising. So the insight that we figure out is that new generation women hold multiple roles of being a mom, a wife, and a worker in their life. Not only want to take good care of their children, but also want to have time for their career and for themselves. And thus, they are stressed with responsibility from family and work, as well as the self-expression and recognition from people around. Due to that anxiety, they do not want to make small mistakes that's causing to be damaged and waste a lot of time to fix it, thereby delaying their plan. So to maintain work-life balance, they prioritize the product that can fix the problem immediately. Next part is the creative concept will be presented by Thanh An. Okay, thank you Trung for your target audience analysis. Now I'll continue with the creative concept and show you how we come up with our creative idea. So by combining the target audience insight and the product USB, which is the strongest and quickest superglue, will come up with the message that we would like to deliver throughout the digital postcard campaign. And that is to emphasize on how fast and effective Tarzan Rip is in solving the customer's problem, and that is to fixing the broken objects. 
Through our observation, we see that saying sorry is obviously the most common and instant reaction that people get when they accidentally make a mistake and it is breaking or damaging things. So by including this factor into our, our concept, we create a sense of familiarity to our target audience. Moving on with our, our idea, we'll be integrating the fast drying function of the glue with different ways of saying sorry. By that, we intend to provoke a sense of humor using exaggeration, but also deliver and express the, mess the key message straightforwardly. So the way we approach these concepts, this concept, is uh, have three main elements. So firstly, we will emphasizing on the functional benefit of Tarzan Grip, and that is because Tarzan Grip is a new brand in Vietnam, and it is essential to emphasize on what it can offer to our target audience. Secondly, exaggeration. It is used in order to, um, like to trigger curiosity and also attract the target audience uh, interest in, into our campaign. And finally, comparison. We will displaying the differences between before and after using the Tarzan Grip Glue. It is to illustrate clearly what the benefits that the, our consumers can get uh, from using the Tarzan Grip. Now I would like to let Trang continue with the creative techniques. So thank you Ting An and I will lead the creative techniques. So we will use the first technique exaggeration to emphasize the quick dry features of the glue. As a new brand in the market, it is very important for the brand to grab the audience's attention. And we will use, use the play with words technique as it will include three elements, the typography, the objects and the word not which is our creative elements. And here's the draft and the brainstorm. So now, please let me introduce you our final work. So our design will be um, consistent with the hierarchy and the elements of narrative. We use the visual flow Z uh, as the technique as people will look at the uh, advertising starting from the broken objects and they will end at the bottom right of the design. So we know that because we know at the end side, we put the logo and also the products there to help them remember the brand better. We also use, we also use the strong contract as it will help the brand more memorable and these colors align with the brand color and the Tartan and Crip Super Glue package. Okay, so there's a lot of negative space to create the design, a simple design, but still show the quick dry features that is with the USB of the brand in a creative but still straightforward. And our objects that we choose uh, is various in different materials based on the product plan. And these objects is used daily by the customers. So when they look at the ads, they will somehow feel familiarity. And here's the call to actions and how these uh, Caruso app design look in reality. So I will introduce you to the digital postcard, very consistent to our previous uh, design. And the last part. Tarzan Grip, fix quicker than you can say sorry. This is our boom bag for the YouTube. So you can see we use funny music as we want to uh, match with the brand's tone of voice, very funny. And also we use, in the end, at the ads, we use the voiceover as we want to, as based on our research, we find out that the voiceover will help the customer remember the brand better and it will fix the brand problem, the Tartan Crucible Group problem, as having a low awareness in Vietnam as a newcomer. And it's the end of our showcase. Thank you for listening and hope you have a nice day.